Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here from the Dude's Kitchen and today as we're going through our low carb series and the dogs are barking, I just wanted to kind of bring to your attention uh, everyday items that we use in the house for cooking and what has carbs and what doesn't. I want to say thank you to the dog over there for barking as well. So I also wanted to talk to you about salts and water and other items that we normally have that may have carbs in it. And then I also want to show you what tracker that I use. There's plenty of trackers out there and give you an idea how it works. So the first thing we want to do is these over here are spices. These are just everyday spices that we use. So I've divided them up into ones that have carbs in them. And this line here are the ones that don't. So I was very surprised to find out that of all things, dillweed has carbs in it, right? So we can take our little tracker here open it up so what I use is I use my fitness pal and it's free and I give you an idea right here of, of what's going on so when I go into it I will hit I can add my weight water food so I'll just hit food right this particular moment we're just gonna select breakfast but for dill weed I'm gonna take a picture of it and it has 0.6 grams of carbs for every teaspoon and it also kind of breaks it down a little bit more. It's got sodium in it, but it does have zero sugars in it. So that's, I mean, it's good, but these are things that you got to remember. Another thing too, what I love is onions, onion powder, uh, anything, anything with onions. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to scan it and give us an idea of what's in it. So for onion powder, one tablespoon we have 5.5 grams of carbs. Out of that, we have a half a gram of sugar. One tablespoon, I'm gonna show you guys, one tablespoon. One tablespoon is this much. 5.5 grams of carbs in that bad boy. That's a lot, and you gotta add that into what you're doing. The other, the other thing is mayo, right? So I use light mayo a lot. I can tell you right now that for one tablespoon of mayo, you're gonna have one gram of carbs. So these all add up as you're going through. There are so many items that we use every day in what we do and cook. I'm gonna use ground cinnamon. Let's scan it. Ground cinnamon. 5.5 grams of carb per tablespoon. That's insane. So we have here really like cornstarch and ranch style dressing, nutmeg, xanthan gum has carbs in it. Of all things. The dogs barking next door, they're probably wanting carbs. That's why they're barking. Brown gravy, it's got carbs in it. Who's your sister sauce? Got carbs in it. But then you get to the items. Oh, there's another one that really blew me away. Mustard seeds. Got carbs in them, guys. Give me some items that don't. Mustard, no carbs. Cayenne pepper. You guys know I cook with cayenne pepper constantly. So let's check cayenne pepper out and see what we get. Zero grams of carbs in this thing per two tenths of a teaspoon. Now, I don't know if I went for the whole thing. Now, I can change it and let's go one tablespoon. I'm still in the same boat. Baking powder, same deal. All right, let's, let's see what we get in baking powder. Per teaspoon, zero carbs. Chili powder, zero carbs. All right? Got cayenne pepper already. I use Uncle Steve's shake on a lot of my stuff, zero carbs. But yet, I used to use Famous Dave's. Now, there's nothing wrong with Famous Dave's. It tastes really good. It's got carbs in it. 
and of course pepper and salt salt as well so there you go guys get yourself a tracker and i'll show you how to use a tracker here in just a moment but just take a look at what you got here carb wise make sure you add it into what you got going on into your recipes in order to track everything properly now one of the items mrs dude and i use a lot and it can actually work against you when it comes to weight loss is salt too much salt intake can kill your weight loss for the day i'm talking about one of the things i love to eat are the um, almonds that come in a little pack right they're like 30, 28 almonds in these things they're good there's like wasabi and all sorts of different flavors right they're loaded with salt so one of the things that i use to counteract the salt is water right and everybody's a little different i'm not a dietitian i don't even claim to be one i don't pretend to be one but water for me helps counteract that salt and if i have a lot of salt during the day i have to drink more water you have to find out what works for you for me 48 to 64 ounces works perfect so here's the thing if you don't know how many ounces of water is in a cup don't be afraid to take one cup it's eight ounces pour it in like so pour it into another glass like so and then aside from a little spillage I basically have 24 ounces of water I drink two to three of these a day depending upon my salt intake all right so that's crazy you've got to have your water water is one of the keys to this whole low carb thing so one of the things that I love is gum, right? Mrs. Dude and I, we love gum, right? So I wanna see how much, how many carbs are in a thing of gum, right? I take my, my app and I see per Mentos, 1.5 grams of carbs. That's crazy guys. And out of that, there's one and a half grams of sugar. That's nuts. That's got to be counted in over the whole thing. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the app that I use. Now, I know that we briefly touched on it, but I use, it's called MyFitnessPal. It's free. It does have a, an ability to you know get a, a paid subscription to it, and it allows you to do more. But it's super simple. I just click on it. I can go to it. I can add my weight I can add how much water I've had in it I can add food I can add exercise everything so for me I hit food and then I say for breakfast and like for this morning for breakfast I had two eggs so I just type in an egg and it brings it up and I'll put in two I'll add it and then I know I had two pieces of bacon so I'll type in bacon and I had two pieces, so based upon this measurement, uh, because it's serving size according to this is two slices. Now you can change the serving size on this. So one and hit the check mark. And it tells me right here, as of this morning, I had one carb, no sugars, 20 proteins based upon my, my weight and my goals out of 115 grams of protein my fat was 34 out of my goal of 133 and I'd had 383 calories out of my goal of 2,000 a day one of the things that I've found on this weight loss journey is the longer I'm on this the less I want to eat when I started out on this when I was 50 pounds heavier I was taking in 2700 calories a day I'll be lucky if I do 2,000 now it's just because of what I'm eating, it it fills me up so much, and that and in drinking the water. But here's the deal: you gotta find what works for you, right? How many carbs do you start out with? I do 50 carbs, 50 grams that is of carbs a day, and out of that I do 10 grams of sugar. You're gonna be different, and you gotta find what works for you. 
I do 2,000 calories a day and I can't even hit that. You're gonna be different. So you have to find what works for you. That's why having a tracker on your phone is such a benefit because it'll allow you to take a look at things and go, hey, on this day, I may have lost a pound and I ate the same thing for three or four days in a row for the most part and I lost weight. But on this day, I changed it up and for whatever reason, maybe I had some almond nuts that were just full of salt and boom. I gained a pound. That's why a tracker is so important. There's so many trackers out there. Find what works for you the best. All right, guys, that's what we've got going on. Seriously, we have here everyday household items that we cook with. They ha either have carbs or they don't. That's just the way it is. But if you're counting carbs like me, and I count over all carbs, I don't do net carbs. I count over all car carbs. I add this in. Any recipe that I've been doing lately, I add them in, right? Like on the um, spinach artichoke that we just did and the taco casserole that we just did, I added in those carbs into the entire picture when I gave you the carb count. So there you have it, guys. That's it. Track your carbs. Make sure you don't take too much salt in. Make sure you drink your water and you find yourself a tracker that works for you. All right, guys, if you got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. I'm not a dietitian. I'm just a dude who lost 50 pounds doing this stuff, right? And I, I give myself cheat days, like maybe on a Friday night, every other Friday night or whatever, I'll go, hey, you know, maybe it's time to have a taco salad or something because I want it, or maybe an extra beer or something like that because I want it. And that's okay, as long as you get back on the saddle the next day. All right, guys. Please remember to hit like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell for notifications. Really appreciate you guys. I do. Remember the dude abides this time with carbs versus no carbs, salt, water, and tracker. We'll talk to you later. Take care, guys.